We're about to improve the performance of this JCW with an AC Schnitzer tuning box. No need for remaps and it's warranty friendly. This one's going to kick some power. So being the ACS dealer here in the south coast of England, we see a lot of these cars come in. Not just minis, but BMWs, all for ACS upgrades. So as I said, this is getting a tuning box, which if you follow me over to the bench, I'll talk you through a little bit about that over here. So this is a plug and play system. So as you can tell by the wiring loom that we've got here, this is pretty comprehensive. Apart from a couple connections that need to be, I believe, soldered in. Other than that, it's plug and play. And obviously ACS being ACS, they've decided to give quite a few extras, including brackets for holding ECUs in place and amongst other things. And of course, you get your nice plaques at the end and certification to show that obviously it has been done in a legitimate way. What I like about ACS is they keep the warranty with these cars. So if you've got a problem with the vehicle later down the line, effectively ACS will give that warranty and that coverage. So whether your gearbox, your engine, or your turbo goes, you're all good and you're sorted. And that's a very rare thing to have. Peace of mind does come at a cost, but at the same time, you do have that peace of mind. So the other thing to note with these later gen cars, you can't actually remap them without sending your ECU to another company, sorry, another country, getting them unlocked, bring them back to the UK and then doing effectively a additional remap, which comes with a lot of cost, comes with a lot of time. And the problem is it then can't have any over the air updates either. So there's so many benefits to this system that we have in front and obviously looking quite smart as well. It's a very OEM package, but let's talk about power quickly. So this mini kicks out 231 PS. Obviously that's international European power rate and then ourselves running off brake horsepower. But for the sake of argument, let's talk about those figures. So it's 231 to 265. And it also then goes from 320 newton meters of torque to 390. So it's a big boost on the torque as well. So I'm keen to get this on. I am going to test drive the car, one, to make sure it's all okay at the end. And I'll give you a bit of feedback after I've driven these cars. I've driven pretty much every iteration of JCW Mini for the last 15, 20 years. So I know these cars and I'm really keen to see how this performs. So we're going to get this installed and I'll talk a little bit about it at the end and give you my personal feedback. But I know it's going to be cool. So let's get this some underway and get a bit more power under the hood. So the Mini's now all wrapped up and the upgraded tuning box has been installed. So I've actually taken this for a quick drive and I'm really impressed. It's got a lot of torque, more than I was actually expecting. And obviously with increased horsepower as well, or PS as the, uh, the Europeans say, it feels like it's got a lot more performance there all the way through the rev range. Um, it drives almost like it should have done from factory. It's very linear. The power is very sort of easy to achieve. It doesn't feel very surgy or feel like you're waiting a long time for the power to come in. So very impressive piece of kit. And that's what you should expect with an ACS part with its TV certification and the years of knowledge that they have. So very impressed with that. But there's a few points to mention before you guys switch off. And the first is when you do install a upgrade like this, you then have to change the type of fuel that you put in the car. So your 95 or 97 
Ron Octane is no longer any good here. You have to run at least 98 for this to be able to perform like it should and how it's designed. So 98, 99 onwards is perfect for this car. That's one important factor. If you don't do that, you're not gonna get the performance and it's not going to run as, as it's intended. So that's one part. Warranty wise, you have a, depending on country where you are, so there is a, a differentiation between countries and how long of a warranty period you'll have. But here in the UK, it's a three year warranty and up to 62,200 miles to be precise of a warranty that you have, um, which is great. So if something goes wrong, ACS will be picking up the bill. They're that confident in the product. Only other couple things to mention is that warranty is transferable as well. So if you keep this on your car, and send it, or sorry, sell it to another customer or another person, they can then also apply for the warranty in their name, which is great. And the only final point is the operating temperature. So this will not, as in the performance, will not be given to you until the car's fully up to temperature. So the oil temp needs to be about 80 degrees Celsius before it actually allows all of that extra power. So don't get in it, jump in, start the car and drive off and expect to get full power straight away it needs to get up to temperature. So as you've seen on the video, there is quite a few things to install. It's a bit different compared to your generic aftermarket tuning box where you just plug into a few sensors. This taps into a lot more. And with that, it has a lot more control. It reads a lot more. It can also output a lot more. And because of that, ACF has stamped their name on it and they're proud to say this product is good for a very long period of time and warranting that. So impressive piece of kit. Sign off by saying we've also, for the Eagle Eye viewers, installed an ACS front splitter. That's going to be showcased in another video. So if you are interested in a few other ACS upgrades for minis, that's another video that you can check out. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any inquiries, get in touch. As I said, it's not just minis that we upgrade ACS parts for. It's a lot of other BMWs as well. But thanks for watching. See you guys next time. And hopefully this, enjoy, this customer enjoys the coming miles in the, uh, in the seat. See you soon.